telling indicators of domestic violence. Hello, you is not just in our hair. In today's video, I will talk about domestic violence and some of the signs that indicate that the relationship is moving towards domestic violence. I will also highlight some signs that show that a person is a victim of domestic violence. According to the World Health Organization, about 30% of women across the globe have been a victim of physical, mental or sexual abuse by their intimate partners. 27% of the women worldwide aged between 15 to 49 have experienced some sort of physical or sexual abuse by their partners. And according to the National Statistics Domestic Violence Fact Sheet, in the United States of America, every 20 minutes, a person is abused by their partner. And if we do the quick maths, nearly more than 10 million residents of the US are victims of abuse. 30% of women and 25% of men experience domestic violence, including slapping, pushing, and showing. These stats clearly show that domestic violence is an issue that should not be taken lightly. And if developed countries have an alarming rate of domestic violence and abuse victims, one can understand what countries where literacy levels are low might be alike. So let's look at some signs that indicate the beginning of abuse in a relationship. The first sign that I'm going to talk about is constant anger and yelling. The first and most common signs of an abusive relationship are temper issues and screaming at the victim. The abuser gets angry with the victim at every little possible thing. Whatever the victim does triggers them badly. And a child of anger, they yell at the victim. This appears to be a very common scenario in many, many households. Getting irritated or angry at your partners or family members occasionally you know, is understandable. Sometimes one gets tired or stressed and one does lose the temper. But the problem arises when, when your partner always remains angry or ready to yell at you. The abuser's constant anger keeps the victim fearful and anxious. And if the victim doesn't take a concrete step about this, this relationship will soon turn violent. Instead of yelling, the partner will not refrain from hitting the victim. The second sign of an abusive relationship with detrimental effects on mental health is gaslighting. The term gaslighting means the abuser denies the happening of a certain event. For example, if a victim confronts the abuser that they hit him or yelled at him, the abuser will deny that the event even took place. Or they will imply to the victim that the victim is exaggerating and making things up. And gaslighting the victim often includes statements like, hey, come on, it's not a big deal. You're making things up, it never happened. It's all in your head. You are overthinking it. I, I didn't do that. You must be mistaken. Statements like these make the victim doubt himself and the reality. When the victim is sure that something, something happened and the abuser denies it, it becomes quite, quite taxing for the victim and constant gaslighting makes the victim believe the abuser that they're right and maybe, maybe they're overthinking when in reality the victim isn't overthinking. If you feel that your partner denies the happening of an incident or doesn't accept it easily, then know that it is a sign of emotional abuse. And when gaslighting continues, the abuser is in the perfect position 
to control the victim. Moving on to the third sign of domestic abuse, which is sexual assault. Forcing yourself on your partner or spouse without their consent is sexual assault. Many people think that asking for a spouse's consent is not required in marriage or in a relationship, but that's completely wrong. The person shouldn't force their partner to engage in sexual activities if they don't want to. Going against their will is assault and is a sign of an abusive relationship. It's also important to discuss sexual coercion. Unlike assault, in sexual coercion, the victim is mentally pressured, tricked, or sometimes threatened to engage in sexual activities with their partners. The abusers do not force themselves upon them. Instead, they would make the victim feel guilty and bad for not agreeing to their wishes. Again, this is a sign of an abusive relationship because the victim's mental health is compromised. And, and they're emotionally blackmailed into agreeing to the abuser's wishes. Moving on to the fourth common sign of domestic abuse, which is controlling and manipulative behavior. If one partner constantly critiques the other partner or orders them to do things a certain way, it signifies abusive behavior. An example of this Let's say a wife has issues with everything the husband does, including how he dresses or the people he hangs out with or the way he talks and so on. And suppose the wife forces the husband to do exactly what she wants or wishes. And it kind of shows that the relationship is abusive, especially if the husband doesn't want to do things he's forced to do. Now, controlling and manipulating a victim can also involve stopping them from meeting their friends and family refraining them from going somewhere, and so on. The abuser will try to isolate the victim and have full control over the victim and their daily life. Up next, we have the threat to physically hurt. Many people do not consider threats to be a sign of abuse. They think abuse counts only when, when a victim is physically hurt. But well, that's not the case, they're wrong. Abuse is not always physical. Emotional abuse, which includes scarring someone, bullying them or belittling them, is also abuse. It leaves bruises on the victim's mind and self-confidence. So suppose an abuser threatens to hit the victim or inflict physical harm on them. In that case, it is quite clear that the relationship will turn into a physically abusive one. At this stage, the victim should think about a plan to get out of the relationship before before they get hurt. And now I'm discuss signs that indicate the person is a victim of domestic abuse. And if you see any of the following signs in your friend or loved ones, understand that they are going through abuse or domestic violence. Five signs that a person is a victim of domestic violence. Unusual behavior. The unusual behavior of your friend, colleague, or family member is one of the biggest signs that they're being abused. For instance, if a, you know, happy girl like a chirpy friend who loves to talk and socialize becomes quiet or withdrawn, it highlights that they might not be okay. Now, unusual behavior, of course, isn't always a sign of abuse, but there is a huge probability that the person might be acting differently because of work-related stress or, you know, or not feeling the best and so on. But suppose you see some clear differences in your friend's behavior, especially after entering a new relationship or even in a relationship that's ambivalent. In that case, you should sort of speak to them. The second sign that we want to talk about is one of the clearest indicators of domestic abuse, bruises and injuries. 
If you observe that your friend has bruises or if they often get injured, it shows that something terrible is going on with them. And it's very common that when people ask the victim the reason for their injuries, they come up with different stories. You know, sometimes they will say that they fell, slipped on the staircase and met a small accident on the road, or walked into the door, or the door walked into them. Talk to them. If you see that your friend or colleague is frequently getting bruised or injured, make them comfortable so they can open up and share the problem with you. The third sign that the person is trapped in an abusive relationship is extreme fear of the abuser. Victims of domestic abuse are extremely fearful of their abuses. That's the primary reason victims are afraid to ask for help or open up to someone about their problems. They dread what will happen if the abuser learns that they ask for help. The victim becomes so afraid of their abuser that they're always jumpy. For example, they'll become anxious and worried if things don't go as the abuser wanted them to. Or if they go somewhere without letting the abuser know, and so on. The fourth sign of domestic abuse victims is that they battle stress, anxiety, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms. The constant fear of the abuser, physical assault, emotional abuse, and constant degradation by the abuser take an understandable toll on the victim's mental health. The victim feels constantly worried about what will happen if they disappoint the abuser. In severe domestic abuse cases, the victim develops the symptoms of mental illnesses such as depression, anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder. And depression can affect a person's daily chores, career, relationship with others, and so on. So if you see your friend or anyone you know kind of become anxious, depressed, or other signs through the mental illnesses, you know, look after them, watch out. The sooner you approach them and offer you help, the quicker they can exit the relationship and move towards a better life. The last sign that one needs to talk about and the biggest effect of uh, domestic abuse, the confidence, a person's confidence gets affected. In the case of domestic abuse, the victim is being abused inside their own home. Now, the home of a person is the safest place for anyone, but even that becomes unsafe for the victim. And being in a toxic and abusive environment every day can be detrimental to their confidence. The victims start believing that they're not good enough, and that's why they're abused by their partners. They will also constantly seek approval and appreciation from people just because their abusers make them believe that they cannot keep someone happy or do things right. In my next video, I will talk about how the victim can end domestic abuse. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. Thank you. And look after yourselves.